2025 and 2026 are going to be the best. From reboots of classic horror tales to thrilling action flicks and fantastical live-action adaptations, this lineup has something for every movie lover. We'll break down the plots, cast, and behind-the-scenes details of each film, giving you a glimpse of what to expect in the coming years. So, let's get started. Wolfman, January 17, 2025 This is a supernatural horror movie directed by Lee wan -El. It's a reboot of the 1941 classic The Wolfman, starring Christopher Abbott, Julia Garner, and Matilda Firth. Produced by Jason Bloom's Bloomhouse Productions and Motel Movies, this film marks another attempt by Universal Pictures to revive its Monsters franchise. Originally announced in 2014, the film was part of a shared universe plan that changed direction after the failure of The Mummy. The success of Wanell's The Invisible Man brought new life to the idea, and after Ryan Gosling and Derek Cianfrance left the project in 2023, one else stepped in as director. The story centers around Blake, a husband and father from San Francisco who inherits his childhood home and tensions in his marriage with Charlotte lead them to visit the property with their daughter. However, as they approach the house at night, they're attacked by a mysterious creature. While trapped inside, Blake begins to change in disturbing ways, leaving Charlotte to face a terrifying decision. In the Gray, January 17, 2025 Henry Cavill and Jake Gyllenhaal are teaming up for Guy Ritchie's upcoming film, In the Gray. The movie, which was teased at CinemaCon, follows a group that operates in a gray area between criminality and the law, classic Ritchie territory. At the event, a trailer was shown featuring Gyllenhaal and Isa Gonzalez staking out a cafe while Cavill talks them through an earpiece. Things quickly escalate into a shootout, with the trio on a mission to recover stolen money. The cast is a bit of a Ritchie reunion, with Cavill previously starring in The Man From U.N.C.L.E. and the upcoming The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, where he shares the screen with Gonzalez. Gyllenhaal, fresh off his action-packed The Covenant with Ritchie, is also starring. Cavill adds some high praise for Gyllenhaal, calling him an incredible talent and a wonderful man, hinting that they might be on screen together more often in the future. They'll be joined here by Rosamund Pike of Saltburn fame, and we're sure the movie will be an electric mix of laughs and over-the-top violence. Levon's Trade, January 17, 2025 January 17, 2025 is shaping up to be a big day at the box office. Not only will Guy Ritchie's In the Gray be hitting theaters, but it'll face stiff competition from David Ayer and Jason Statham's new action-packed thriller, Levon's Trade. The duo had massive success with The Beekeeper, so expectations are high for this next project. In Levon's Trade, Statham plays Levon Cade, a former black ops operative who's trying to live a quieter life as a dad. But when his boss's daughter Jenny goes missing, he's pulled back into action, using his old skills to track her down. The hunt leads him into a dangerous criminal conspiracy that threatens everything he's built. The film also stars David Harbour, Michael Pena, Jason Fleming, and Ariana Rivas as Jenny. Adding to the excitement, Sylvester Stallone adapted the screenplay from Chuck Dixon's novel, with Ayer making some revisions. Stallone's screenwriting experience, like his Oscar-nominated work on Rocky, brings another level of anticipation to this explosive action film. The Monkey, February 21, 2025 By Neon, The Monkey is a supernatural horror movie directed by Osgood Perkins, based on Stephen King's 1980 short story, Starring Theo James, Tatiana Maslany, Elijah Wood, and Christian Convery, the story follows twin brothers Hal and Bill, who uncover their father's old toy monkey in the attic. After that, a series of mysterious deaths starts happening around them. Hoping to escape the curse, they get rid of the toy and go their separate ways. But when the deaths continue, they must reunite to find a way to permanently destroy the sinister monkey. Sinners, March 7, 2025 Ryan Coogler and Michael B. Jordan have teamed up again for the horror thriller Sinners, and the first trailer and poster have officially dropped. Coogler, who also wrote the film, is taking audiences to the Prohibition era south in this mysterious and supernatural thriller. In the trailer, Michael B. Jordan plays a character who may be a bootlegger and a former Great War veteran, armed with military weapons in a tight-knit church-going community. Jordan's character faces horrors beyond anything he's ever witnessed, as he says, I ain't seen no demons, no ghosts, no magic till now. The preacher in the trailer ominously warns, you keep dancing with the devil, one day he's gonna follow you home. 
The atmosphere of the trailer teases an intense, eerie story that mixes southern gothic vibes with supernatural elements. This is Kugler and Jordan's latest collaboration, following their successful work on Fruitvale Station, Creed, and Black Panther. The cast will also include Haley Steinfeld, Delroy Lindo, and Wunmi Mosaku. Black Bag, March 14, 2025 Steven Soderbergh's highly anticipated spy drama Black Bag is officially set for a theatrical release via Focus Features. Starring Kate Blanchett and Michael Fassbender, the film boasts a stellar ensemble cast, including Regé Jean Paget, Marissa Abella, Naomi Harris, Tom Burke, and Pierce Brosnan. The screenplay is written by David Kep, with Casey Silver and Greg Jacobs producing. Black Bag promises to be a high-stakes mystery that plunges audiences into a world of espionage. While details of the plot are still under wraps, the strong cast and Soderbergh's reputation for creating tense, layered thrillers have fans excited for what's to come. Snow White, March 21, 2025 This highly anticipated film stars Rachel Zegler as Snow White and Gal Gadot as the Evil Queen. Directed by Mark Webb, the film reimagines Disney's classic 1937 animated film with new twists and updates for modern audiences. At the D23 Expo, Zegler expressed her excitement about playing the iconic princess, calling it the honor of a lifetime. She added that Snow White in this version is a strong, independent character who dreams of becoming a leader, inspired by her late father, rather than being rescued by a prince. Godot shared her enthusiasm for portraying the evil queen, describing her as delicious, evil, and magical. The movie will feature a mix of songs from the original film, and new ones composed by the duo Benj Pasek and Justin Paul. The trailer shows Zegler's Snow White meeting the Seven Dwarfs and facing off against Godot's evil queen, teasing a visually stunning and fresh take on the beloved fairy tale. The Karate Kid, May 30, 2025 Filming for the new Karate Kid movie is officially wrapped up, and it's set to hit theaters on May 30, 2025. This new installment, also known as Karate Kid 2, is bringing some serious nostalgia while also introducing fresh faces to the mix. After a long wait since The Karate Kid Part 3, fans can look forward to seeing both Jackie Chan and Ralph Macchio reprising their roles, although Jaden Smith and Taraji P. Henson won't be part of this story. The plot focuses on a teenager from China who moves to Brooklyn and gets into martial arts. It's a modern twist that aims to blend elements from the original films and the 2010 remake, as the main character navigates life in America and faces new challenges. Directed by Jonathan Entwistle, known for The End of the Thing World, and co-written by Robert Mark Kamen, who wrote the original Karate Kid films, this project is definitely looking to honor its roots. The new movie has faced a few delays, initially set to release in June 2024 before being pushed back to avoid competition with Cobra Kai. Now, it's gearing up for a summer blockbuster debut. The upcoming Karate Kid movie features a mix of familiar faces and new talent. Ralph Macchio is reprising his role as Daniel LaRusso, the iconic Karate Kid. Jackie Chan returns as Mr. Han, continuing from the 2010 reboot. Ben Wang stars as Lee Fong, the main character who navigates life in Brooklyn. Joshua Jackson plays Victor, a key character in the story, while Seanette Renee Wilson takes on the role of Miss Morgan. Additionally, several actors have been cast in undisclosed roles, including Sadie Stanley, Ming-Na Wen, Karen Brar, Aramis Knight, Wyatt Olaf, and Jennifer Lynn Christie. With such a talented cast, fans are eager to see how these characters will contribute to this exciting new chapter in the Karate Kid franchise. Ballerina, June 6, 2025 Ballerina is keeping us in suspense with a year-long delay, but at least we finally have the first trailer for this John Wick spin-off to check out. It's the first of two spin-offs in the works, with another one focusing on Donnie Yen's character Kane from John Wick Chapter 4. The trailer dropped in late September 2024 and gives us our first glimpse of Anna de Armas as the new assassin in this universe. Ballerina takes place between the third and fourth John Wick movies, so we can expect to see John Wick himself pop up. Shay Hatton, who co-wrote Chapter 3 and 4, is working on the script alongside Emerald Fennell and Michael Finch, with Underworld director Len Wiseman at the helm. Now that we have the trailer, 
The first trailer premiered at CinemaCon in April 2024 and was released on September 26, 2024. It shows Ana de Armas in some intense action scenes and features a cameo from Keanu Reeves as Baba Yaga. So basically, that confirms Keanu Reeves will appear in Ballerina, but it's unclear if he'll play a major role or just pop in for a bit. Anna has teased that they will likely have a fight scene together, which should be exciting to see. As for the cast, Anna de Armas plays Eve Macaro, the titular ballerina training in the Ruska Roma's assassin traditions. Before joining the project, she insisted on hiring a female writer, which led to the hiring of Emerald Fennel. Ian McShane is back as Winston, and he had some great things to say about working with Anna. Angelica Houston will also reprise her role as the director. New faces include Gabriel Byrne, Catalina Sandino Moreno, and Norman Reedus, along with one of Lance Reddick's final performances. During the reshoots, the Umbrella Academy star David Castaneda and Sharon Duncan Brewster join the cast, with Duncan Brewster playing an assassin trainer. While we have the trailer, details about the plot are still a bit sparse. We know that Eve Macaro is seeking revenge for her father's death. The movie follows her training at a ballet school that doubles as an assassin academy. It was hinted that we might have seen Eve in John Wick 3, but it appears she'll be a new character. Ana de Armas has described the film as dangerous and sexy, and she reassured fans that the reshoots were just to enhance the footage, which she's proud of. How to Train Your Dragon Live Action, June 13, 2025 After three successful animated movies, three animated series and a bunch of spin-offs, the How to Train Your Dragon franchise is still going strong, but there's one thing it hasn't done yet, live action. That's all changing in 2025 with its first ever live action film. This new movie is a reboot of the original story, and Dean Deblois, who has been the creative force behind the franchise, is back as both writer and director, so longtime fans can rest easy. Young actors Mason Thames, known for Black Phone, and Nico Parker, known for Suncoast, will take on the roles of Hiccup and Astrid. To bridge the gap between the animated and live-action versions, Gerard Butler will return as Stoic, Hiccup's dad and the Viking leader. The cast also features Julian Dennison, Gabriel Howell, Bronwyn James, Harry Trevaldwin, and Nick Frost as Fishlegs, Snotlout, Roughnut, Toughnut, and Gobber, respectively. As for how this film will differ from the originals, that's still up in the air. We're eager to see what live-action visuals can offer that animation couldn't. 28 Years Later, June 20th, 2025 Danny Boyle is reuniting with screenwriter Alex Garland and actor Killian Murphy for the upcoming zombie film 28 Years Later, set to launch a new trilogy. The film serves as a follow-up to the acclaimed 28 Days Later, which was released in 2002 and significantly raised Murphy's profile. Although the sequel, 28 Weeks Later, was directed by Juan Carlos Fresnadillo in 2007 without Boyle and Murphy, fans have long awaited a direct continuation from the original creators. 28 Years Later is scheduled to hit UK cinemas on June 20, 2025. Initially titled 28 Months Later, the title was changed due to the time elapsed since the previous film. As for trailers, there isn't one available yet. Filming wrapped in August 2024, although additional photography occurred in September. Notably, the film was shot using iPhones paired with high-end camera lenses, a unique approach that reflects Boyle's innovative style. The cast features a mix of established and emerging talent, including Jodie Comer, Aaron Taylor-Johnson, Ray Fiennes, Jack O'Connell, and Aaron Kellyman. Murphy will reprise his role as Jim, the bike courier turned zombie survivor, and will also serve as an executive producer. He has expressed excitement about revisiting this beloved character. Details about the plot remain unknown, but it's expected to delve into a world ravaged by a zombie outbreak, echoing themes from the original films. The film will explore the struggles of society trying to regain normality amidst chaos. In terms of future installments, Boyle is attached to direct the first film, while Candyman director Nia DaCosta is rumored to helm the second. Producer Andrew McDonald has confirmed plans for a trilogy, with work on 28 Years Later already completed and the follow-up in progress. Animal Friends, August 15, 2025 Ryan Reynolds, who gave the $1.2 billion movie to the Marvel Universe in 2024 with the hit Deadpool and Wolverine, is set for a different kind of adventure in 2025. 
he will star in Animal Friends, an upcoming film blending live action and animated characters. While details about the plot are still unknown, Reynolds will share the screen with a star-studded cast, including Jason Momoa, Aubrey Plaza, Daniel Levy, Little Ray Howery, Addison Ray, and Ellie Bamber. Directed by Peter Atencio, known for his work on Keanu and the Machine, Animal Friends promises to deliver a mix of humor and wild antics. The film is slated for release on August 15, 2025, and is expected to be R-rated, continuing Reynolds' trend of embracing more adult-themed comedies. Weapons, January 16, 2026 Weapons is a gripping horror movie written, directed, and co-produced by Zack Krager. The story brings together different plot lines about a small community in Florida, dealing with the mysterious vanishing of school kids, police corruption, generational trauma, witchcraft, blood rituals, and religious abuse. The film really made waves in January 2023, sparking a bidding war between Universal Pictures, Netflix, TriStar Pictures, and New Line Cinema. In the end, New Line snagged the rights, offering Krager an impressive eight-figure deal to write and direct. Plus, he got final cut rights and a guarantee for a theatrical release. Originally, Pedro Pascal was on board to star, but he had to drop out in February 2024 because of his commitments to The Fantastic Four First Steps. Then, Josh Brolin stepped in, along with Julia Garner and Alden Ehrenreich, joining the cast in April 2024. By May 2024, Benedict Wong, Amy Madigan, Austin Abrams, Carrie Christopher, and June Diane Raphael were also confirmed for the project. Ong, The Last Airbender January 20, 2026 The movie will follow an adult Ong after the original series, though specific plot details are still unknown. It's expected to bring new challenges for Ong, possibly featuring a new villain voiced by Dave Bautista. This film will kick off a planned trilogy, setting the stage for future storylines. The voice cast includes Eric Nam as Ong, Dave Bautista as the unnamed villain, and Dante Basco returning as Zuko. Also joining the cast are Dion Kwan as Toph, Jessica Matten as Katara, and Roman Zaragoza as Soka. Lauren Montgomery, who has worked on Avatar The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra, is directing. The original series creators, Michael DiMartino and Brian Konietzko, are serving as executive producers. This film is part of Avatar Studios, which aims to expand the Avatar universe with fresh content. Street Fighter Live Action March 20, 2026 The upcoming Street Fighter movie, developed in partnership with Capcom, is inspired by the popular Street Fighter video game series, famous for its international martial arts tournaments and legendary characters. There's a bit of uncertainty around the release date, since the original directors, Danny and Michael Filippo, have stepped away from the project, but Sony and Capcom are expected to announce a new director soon. The Street Fighter franchise has been a major player in the gaming industry since its launch in 1987, with over 49 million units sold globally. The latest installment, Street Fighter VI, continues to enhance its legacy. This new film adaptation presents a chance for the franchise to finally succeed where previous attempts have faltered. Super Mario Bros. 2, April 3, 2026 the logo for the sequel to the Super Mario Bros. movie has been spotted in an IMAX investor presentation. It resembles the original film's logo, but features a big 2 to indicate it's a sequel. While Illumination and Nintendo haven't officially released this logo, it gives fans a sneak peek at the upcoming film. Shigeru Miyamoto has teased that the sequel will expand Mario's universe with a bright and fun story, although specific plot details are still under wraps. The original voice cast will be returning, including Chris Pratt as Mario, Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach, Charlie Day as Luigi, Keegan-Michael Key as Toad, Jack Black as Bowser, and Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. There's some buzz that the film might introduce new characters and potentially take the Mario universe in a fresh direction. Chris Pratt has shared his excitement about the possibilities within Nintendo Cinematic Universe, noting the chance to explore stories from various Nintendo franchises. Shrek 5, July 1, 2026 Shrek 5 is officially in development, and it's shaping up to be a big summer hit that fans have been eagerly anticipating. DreamWorks Animation has confirmed the release date and announced that the original cast will return. Mike Myers will once again voice Shrek, Eddie Murphy will reprise his role as Donkey, 
and Cameron Diaz will come back as Princess Fiona, which is especially exciting since Diaz had previously stepped back from acting. And there's even more good news. A Donkey spinoff is also in the works, promising fans more of Eddie Murphy's lovable character. As for Shrek 5, there's a lot of chatter about new characters and storylines. The sequel is expected to dive into fresh adventures and explore deeper family dynamics, especially since Shrek and Fiona's kids will be older teens by the time the movie rolls around. This opens up plenty of the fun narrative possibilities. Imagine Shrek trying to connect with a new generation of fairy tale characters. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Sequel, October 9th, 2026. This next installment promises to expand on the fresh approach introduced in the first film, following the adventures of Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael, with Micah Abbey, Shimon Brown Jr., Nicholas Cantu, and Brady Noon returning to voice them. Jackie Chan is expected to reprise his role as Splinter, the turtle's wise and protective mutant rat father. Seth Rogen, who co-wrote and produced the first film, is also back in the mix. And while the sequel's title is still unknown, Rogen has teased that it will be awesome. The movie is currently in production, with an animatic finished and CG animation in progress. The sequel is likely to pick up where Mutant Mayhem left off, with Cynthia and Shredder set to play major roles. While it seems confirmed that Shredder will be involved, the actor voicing the iconic villain hasn't been revealed yet. We can expect more exploration of Cynthia's backstory and motivations, particularly her connection with TCRI and her ultimate goals. Plus, a new TMNT TV series on Paramount Plus will help bridge the gap between the two films, showing the Turtles' growth and how they're preparing for the bigger challenges ahead in the sequel. That's all. Which film are you most excited to see? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on all things movies. We'll keep you in the loop with the latest trailers, cast news, and release dates. Until next time, keep dreaming big and happy watching!